Hey folks, Aaron here, Aaron's Practical Reviews, and we are out on location today, shooting with the Tamron 150 to 600. I'm gonna be shooting on the 60 Mark II, and I'm here at a huge dam, the lower part of a dam here, and there are all sorts of animals out here, birds, ducks. I saw some raccoons down there earlier. So we're gonna put this to the test, see what kind of image quality we get, and basically see what kind of fun this is. I've had this for a while now. I know for a fact that it gets good images, especially on the 6D Mark II. But I wanted to showcase it for you guys, and I will put it on the T7i that I'm filming with now. And I'll show you some images on that because it is slightly different on a crop sensor. So, uh, yep, I'm just gonna get some video, some pictures. I, I see some blue herring out here. And uh, just sit back and enjoy the pictures and some video. A beautiful morning out i love this i love being on location and doing this kind of stuff this is why i buy the gear what i love to do this is my relaxing sunday morning One thing that's really nice about this lens is that it has the uh, VC, is what Tamron calls it, basically image stabilization. And when you lock into a subject, it really, it, it'll start, it'll go from a shaky to a really quick grab. And it'll grab the image and hold it long enough to take the picture. It really helps with the image. And this bird is just perched up there perfectly today. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful. Let me get some video here real quick. It's not the smoothest focus ring, but it's effective. It, I mean, you could, for, for video, it's definitely not smooth. For images, it doesn't really matter. Boy, this, this guy is just sitting there perched perfect. Yeah, this is definitely an extremely heavy lens. Definitely something you'd probably want to use on a tripod. I didn't bring my tripod or my mount because I'm using it to film on the T7i right now using the 18 to 35. But it's very heavy. That's why I have the strap. Uh, it, do, it did come with a lens, uh, a sun flare lens hood. I'm not using it now because the sun's at my back and I knew it would be because I come here often. This is just a beautiful spot. It's so peaceful. Nobody comes up here because they've got it kind of, these are stairs over here that people like to run on and they're doing construction on them so nobody's up here running. So I get this whole place to myself. It's awesome up here. Okay, so let's go over a couple things really quick on this guy. First, the lens hood that comes with it. It's huge, it's really effective, but it is kind of hard to transport. Uh, secondly, there is a lock on here. So you can lock it in place when it's all the way in at 150. When you unlock it, obviously you can go out. That's really helpful because when you're walking with it, it will tend to easily just come out and the next thing you know, it's fully extended. So that locking mechanism is nice. Helps keep it nice and snug. Uh, like I said before, it does have 
vibration compensation or image stabilization. Uh, Tamron calls it vibration compensation. Uh, it's extremely necessary, especially on a crop sensor. As you saw in some of the video clips there, I couldn't even get it focused when I was resting it on a rail. Uh, so that's really important. It does have the auto focus, manual focus option, obviously. Um, built pretty well. Uh, focus is mediocre. The focusing speed, I mean. Uh, image quality is great, don't get me wrong, but the focusing speed, especially on smaller birds and stuff, it's quite difficult. Um, probably not something you're going to be taking out trying to get you know, barn swallows flying around, but if you can get a barn swallow in focus, with a, as unpredictable, as quick as they are, then either you're really lucky or exceptionally talented at taking pictures of things on the move. Now I was using continuous autofocus and AI servo to get uh, some of the pictures of the birds flying, but they were large birds that fly direct, mostly straight lines, like the, I believe that was the great blue herring. Um, yeah, those things fly in a straight line, they're huge. So it's, you know, they're not hard to get. So continuous focus with AI servo on both the T7i and the 6D Mark II worked pretty well as far as capturing moving objects. Um, and that's it. All in all, uh, I've been extremely happy with this. I'm, I'm going to link it in the description below if you want to check out the price of it. Uh, but it's it's been a super fun lens, excellent image quality. It's extremely heavy, extremely heavy. So that's why I wear I you know I wear this and I kind of rest it here as I'm walking because it just it just wears on you. It's just one of those things that's just really heavy. It wears you down. And you need something extremely big to carry it in. So you can't just use like your little camera bag that you might have bought when you first started. You gotta get a big bag. And it does not come with a bag. It doesn't come with anything. Out of the box, this is all you get right here. So don't count on that, on it coming. Some of them do, and that's kind of nice to have because you, you know, you might want to put it in there and take it in a separate bag or something, but this doesn't have that option. So uh, that's it. Uh, that's my review on it. Um, I love it. I love using it, super fun. Oh, sorry. It's bright out here. Super fun to use, and uh, right out of the box, I was getting good pictures. So, all in all, I'd say it's definitely a great purchase. Alright, well that's it guys. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, and uh, have a fantastic day.